right, good evening and welcome to day two of the Green Castle, Indiana Regional Post Game Interviews. For our fifth interview of the day following game five, we have St. Mary's Cardinals. The Cardinals fell to DePaul Tigers 16-8, and sitting down with us today, we have head coach John Cheetah, as well as Michaela Steffies and Peyton Bird. Thank you all for sitting down with us this afternoon to discuss your game five here at the Green Castle, Indiana Regionals. Let's get started with just some basic questions in relation to your mindset heading into this game. Yeah, after the first game, you just got to come out fighting, right? So when you're back against the wall, you just got to come out swinging. So that I think we did a pretty good job with that. And then uh, I think uh, DePaul did a great job of coming back also and fighting. And then the wheels kind of fell off. You know, we, we had too many walks, too many getting behind the counts to help them out. And then the defense kind of fell apart at the end there. But but they've been great all year. So we, we came out fighting, and uh, you know you did what you could. And then you don't come out with your best performance, but that's the way it is. There's 403 teams. There's only going to be one smiling at the end. So absolutely, absolutely. Ladies, how about you? You two. Um, well, I definitely had a fighting mindset, but also just to play my heart out and do the best I can. I want to be the best version of myself for the team and my coaches, and I know that they'll have my backs as well. So. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, just control what I can control, and um, just keep fighting, keep working as hard as I can, give all, give it all. Um. In this game five, did you guys feel any sense of urgency to um, get ahead quicker than maybe what you did in your first game this morning? Or was kind of it the same game plan as what you guys had yesterday when you had beat the ball? Okay, well, hopefully we're, we start ahead always. But um, I think it's just we're playing the same game we've always played. So hopefully we score it right off the bat. And if we don't, just got to keep fighting. That's always my goal is to always to not make any outs and just keep scoring. And we don't want to be defense. It's kind of how it is, right? So I kind of laugh when people say, well, you plan to score early. Well, yeah, like all the time and just keep you scoring. Have. I want yeah, 30 yeah. runs. But we know that uh, uh, actually I, now I know the DePaul coach says, oh, they, we know they score a lot of their runs in the first inning. I go, oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Let's try to score some later then. <laughs> you know? So it's kind of fun. Uh, they said it perfectly. <laughs> I have a question for you, Michaela. You got to pitch pretty deep into this game, holding uh, DePaul to just a few runs at first. What was kind of your mindset, keeping them you know, down and holding your lead? Um, <clears throat> well, my mindset is to always do the best for the team. So I know that I have some mechanical issues I need to work on and fix, but I <laughs> keep that in my head throughout the game and I just try and keep my head up and positive self-talk because that is a huge part of the game. So, um, Coach, this is kind of to you, but Michaela and Peyton, you can also answer. Uh, you have a very talented roster with a lot of people that wear a lot of different hats. I mean, Michaela, we saw you in the circle today and then at third base and we saw your right fielder come in and pitch and then go back out there. Um, how did that play into your decision making this morning and in this game? So yeah, we we, uh, we always say you're an athlete, and sometimes you play third, sometimes you pitch, sometimes you play second, sometimes you make catch. I seen her catch, she can catch, flexibility gumbo. <laughs> so we uh, we do we want them to be athletes, and we teach them how to play in not all the positions, but almost all the positions, so we can kind of mix and match. And then we get to the end, they start to zero in on main positions. But we have a lot of kids on the bench that could have been out there too. And even our reserves, it's cool to see our reserves. Um, they're pretty talented too, right? It's a shame you got to cut some of them off the playoff roster. But watching them in our warm-ups, it was cool to watch because it's hard when you get cut, right? But they came with the same positive high energy. They're in their workouts, do or dies, they're shaking balls. And when I saw that, I go, yeah, now you got a program. Right now, when all those kids are all in doing what they and having fun doing it, that means you got a shot, right? So there's a lot of roles, and we'll add players to the roster next year that'll give us more roles. So it's cool there. And also, here's a thing I pointed out. You know, we had the all-conference stuff, and I won't 
leak too much information. I don't think it's official yet. But we, when I'm putting our nominations, there weren't a lot of kids really that were qualified to be all conference based on the numbers. And I'm like, what the heck? How the heck did we win it? You know? And then, and then you go, you know, how we won it is we have a team, right? It's one kid came up big, then another kid. They're all talented. They're all got little holes that they're working on getting rid of. But I thought that's how we got here through a lot of different kids participating. Um, so, as you guys as players and you guys and you as a head coach, um, what it, what are you telling your teammates after a game like this to get prepared for next year? What are you as a coach taking out of this game and heading for into next season? Um, go to work this summer go in the off season. Just keep working hard. Uh, work on the things we know we need to work on. Um, patch up the holes in our swings, um, our fielding, all areas of the game, and we can come back stronger the next year. You gotta grind it out, man. I mean, just like Peyton said, you gotta know what you gotta work on, and you have you have to do it all aspects of the game. So I think that's everybody's mindset. Yeah, I said no days off. NCAA, I don't care the rule. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they they uh, you know they get time off, right? And it's uh, you can't do anything in the off season, but they know what they gotta do, and enjoy your summers, right? And, yeah. and uh, but they're. Uh, we work hard on the fundamentals, so the fundamentals take care of us, right? So fundamentals are the key. And the way they've improved dramatic. I mean, these are freshmen, sophomores, right? And DePaul, same thing, right? You had a lot of freshmen, sophomores. Hats off to them, because they're playing high-level ball as freshmen and sophomores. And it's hard to do. Usually you don't play until you're a junior. And these kids are playing good softball now. So the only reason they got it is because they're grinding away. So it was, uh, it was fun to watch them. Um, sad to watch the way the games end, but now we're cheering on DePaul and Cole. But because DePaul kicked us, we're cheering them on. <laughs> As we wrap up, are there any shout outs that you want to give out to the community that followed you guys here today, other team members, coaching staffs, that sort of stuff? Yeah, we have a very good campus, a lot of people that care. Uh, a lot of people are excited for our success, other coaches, Christian brothers, nuns, they all came out, right? And uh, big support of Mary who's watching our games also. So there's a lot of support on campus. It's pretty cool, you know, to see, you know, you say the Caitlin Clark, right? Yeah. But we kind of have that on campus also. There's just a lot of spirit on all sports, whether it be a male or female sport. So it's cool to have. Either of you have any specific shout outs? Uh, just our whole team in general. We compete every day in practice, and they push us to, the, everyone on the team pushes us to be the be best player we can be. Your dad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad. No. <laughs> no, just I think for everybody, family is always a big part of it, but I agree with, with um, what they both said, so they said it perfectly. Fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, speaking with us today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.